challenge writing about Vienna, not having been there. Um, and unfortunately, it doesn't look as though uh, it'll work for me to be able to take a trip there while I'm working on the book. I'm very grateful for the internet. I'm very grateful for the photographs that are available, for the first-hand accounts of Vienna. I'm also very grateful for the letters and journals that people kept in, in the time at the time of the Congress of Vienna that I can read about that give really good accounts of, of what, what Vienna looked like. And, and particularly, well, the good thing about writing about the Congress is you have a lot of impressions of Vienna written by people who were visiting. So of course they're writing about how it looks and feels and sounds and smells to them, whereas if you live there, you wouldn't necessarily comment that way on your own city. So. Um, that research is very important, um, and I return to my research notes a lot more often, whereas when I'm writing about London, I can call up my own my memories and my images much, much more easily. I'm also fortunate that I have friends who've been there, including my good friend Jim, who's doing this interview with me, who lived there for a year, who I um, figure I can have read the book through and make sure I haven't done anything that at least stands out as egregiously wrong to someone who's lived in contemporary Vienna.